The War Within pre-patch is probably launching at the end of July. We've seen a couple of different release dates, but I am here today to talk to you about what that pre-patch entails. It has a little bit of an event called Radiant Echoes. It's very much in theme with the Radiant Song and all the lore that supposedly is tied together to the War Within. It's got a little bit to it, so I'm here to talk about it today. Uh, once it actually launches, you're going to get one quest that takes you to Dalaran. And you're going into the Hall of the Guardian, and you walk down, you know, a couple of steps, a flight of stairs, and you find yourselves at the end room. There's both going to be a vendor, but there's also going to be portals to every single thing uh, whenever something is active, whenever one of these Radiant Echo, Radiant Memories events are going to be live. Um, there's a couple of different locations for it, and once in the Searing Gorge, once in Dragon Blight. And then one is in Dust Vallow, Dust Vallow Marsh, right? Those are the three locations where they can spawn. These events are up for about an hour and a half, I want to say. And when they're up, you have exactly six memories that you actually have to complete as an event. And once you've completed those, you actually get access to the boss of that event. Now, at the moment, these uh, these particular events are really really easy to complete uh, a couple of people will be able to finish each of these small memory events uh, around the zone really quickly and really fast so you don't really get any of the rewards if you're not in that particular area especially if you were thinking okay i'm gonna level a character with this you don't actually get any um you don't get any experience from these mobs that you kill during the, uh, these memory events. But for the completion of the event, you do get some experience. Uh, experience is about, at least for the what I tested, 60 to 70, it's about a third of your level, close to a third of your level. So between 20 and, well, 25 and 35% seems to be where it's at. And the quest that you actually get you also get a little bit of experience, like the quest that makes you kill the last boss of the event. Now, obviously these events are up for an hour and a half, so if you're not there at the start of this event, you won't be able to do these memories, and you won't be able to kill the boss, which is a little unfortunate, but that's how it looks currently. As for the rewards that you can get, there's a couple of different things. You can buy yourself a 32 slot bag, you can buy yourself a reagent bag as well. There's a mount, there's a couple of pets and, and things like that. Nothing too crazy at the moment on the vendor. And then you have 480 eye level gear. Now some of this stuff is recolors or redesigns of what we used to have in their respective zones or something that's related to Dalaran. And there is a brand new full set, which is pretty cool for transmog. But again, this is 480 eye level gear. So if you haven't played much in the last patch of Dragonflight, this will be very, very good gear to get at level 70. I hope you guys enjoyed this video of a little bit of a preview for the pre-patch. This is still there early. There's a lot of change that, changes that could happen. If they end up making big changes, uh, I might make a video that goes over the event again. But if they're just small changes or whatever, I will put some updates down in the comments below to this video in itself. Thank you guys very much for watching the video. Make sure that you drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel with all the notifications on for future notifications for new videos whenever I do make them. Thank you guys, and until the next one, see ya!